All right, so I'm just gonna have a really quick discussion or talk about like what is the difference between a website and a web app? Those are probably two terms that you might have heard when you're dealing with like software engineering or building out web um, web development. Um, and I want to kind of give you my opinion. I don't know if there's like a concrete definition. I think it's more of a spectrum. Um, so a website, let's, let's kind of talk about like what a website is. So a website, in my opinion, uh, is something that has like a bunch of static content and very, very limited interactivity, okay? So yeah, there might be a search bar where you could type in like pizza and that might take you to another page that shows information about a pizza and you have links and stuff. So Wikipedia, in my opinion, is like a web website with a little bit of interactivity so that you can actually like navigate around. But a lot of websites have like search bars, okay? So if you can basically, um, Another good way to tell if it's like a website, if you if I can export this entire site and like still have it be useful, then it might just be like a website. I don't know if that's a good analogy actually, but notice how there's not really that much interactivity. It's not that much like ability to log in and do stuff. I mean, yeah, if you're like a, a maintainer of Wikipedia articles, maybe you can log in, you can you can modify some stuff. But I wouldn't really consider this uh, much of a web app. Let's also look at like some some pizza site. So I just kind of Googled some random pizza site. And again, this is like a good example of like what a website is. It's basically there to give you some content. You have some links. People can navigate around. But there's not really a way to like log in and do much, right? Again, I'm not like affiliated with this company. I don't know who the heck this even, who these people are. I hope they make some good pizza. But you might have the ability to like shop. And that's kind of like getting into territory of like a web application where you can actually like buy some type of dough or you can buy some toppings or something like that. But again, I don't know. I would, I would still can kind of consider this like a website with some basic interactivity or some type of like e-commerce ability. So what exactly is a web app, right? So if you look at something like Trello and please excuse most of these cards, like I'm probably never going to record videos on any of these things, but at some point I got really motivated and made a bunch of ideas of videos I should make for this YouTube channel. But a web app is like something you can have like five or six people all working on the same board, sliding cards from one column to the next, clicking on stuff. Notice like the interactivity is on the next level. Like I can go here, I can leave comments, I can do different stuff to this, this Trillo task, I can add checklists, I can add members to it. Uh, maybe it sends out emails when you know stuff changes, I can archive it, I can share it, I can change the description here, I can add labels. You notice how the interactivity is like much, much higher than those other two sites that I showed you versus like, you know, Wikipedia or this pizza site. So in my opinion, this is like what a web app kind of boils down to. It's like it's something that you actually allow users to interact with. And there's, a, you know, a high amount of interactivity, a high amount of complexity. Um, and that's kind of like what we're always trying to build with React. And again, it's like a spectrum. So the more interactivity you have, the more I consider what you're building a web application, All right? So again, like this is a little side project I'm trying to work on, and this is considered like a web application because it has a lot of dynamic content. Users can come in, they can change the background color of their YouTube thumbnails. They can change text dynamically as they want. Um, they can upload a different image of, I don't know, whatever they have here, and that'll change. And then they can generate images like this and that will actually download an image. This might have a bug. I don't know if it actually show correctly, but there you have it. You have like an actual like export image. So this is like more of like a web application. So I just kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to clear up those two terms, um, especially if you're new to web development, you might not really understand what the difference is. And a web app is different from like a mobile app. When you when I hear the, word, the term mobile app, I'm thinking more of like an iPhone app or an Android app or a tablet app something that you actually have on like a device that you can interact with. Um, and there's mobile versions of websites and there's mobile versions of web applications. But for the most part, like trying to load Trillo on your phone is just not gonna work. Like this Trillo was built for desktop view, right? It's built for people who are trying to be productive at their work, trying to manage their tasks. This is like a web application built for the desktop. Same thing with what I'm building here. But something like this, like you can load up a mobile friendly website view of this and that's kind of how it all works so 
Don't really know why I made this video. Um, maybe it'll clear up a term for some people, but if you enjoyed watching it, give me a thumbs up. Also join my Discord if you wanna ask me questions directly or just kind of be part of a community of coders learning how to code. Have a good day and happy coding.